by the help of the Spirit, I will teach and continue the ministry of uh, the mystery of Elpas, part two. And we'll conclude and we'll spend some time to pray. We'll spend some time to pray. I hope I'll be able to quickly conclude this. Psalm chapter 22. Thank you, Lord. Have you said a big hello to the person seated by your side? If you have not do, done that, if you have not done that, please do that now. If you are single, I give you permission. Permission to do that, not to do any other thing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you excited here in church? Yes, Psalm chapter 22, sorry. Psalm chapter 22. Woo, from verse 1. And here what scripture says. It said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And by the way, Psalm chapter 22 is uh, it, um, it's a prophetic verse or a prophetic book. Or a prophetic, yeah, a prophetic chapter. And if you read further, you understand that that book was written by a man called David. And it was written way before Jesus was given birth to. And Psalm 22 happens to be a book that exemplify the, 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 or connotes what we call today the passion of Christ. Everything that happened from the place where Jesus was arrested to the place where he was taken to Golgotha was prophesied ahead in the book of Psalm 22. And this is what um, the psalmist said, uh, prophetically talking about, you know, the crucifixion of Jesus. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me? You know, that was the state that Jesus, which means that at a point in time, Jesus also found himself in a state. God was not involved in his life. And, and, and if Jesus went through that particular season, there is not solution that the Lord has forsaken him. He said, and why are you so far from him? Have you ever experienced that season where you feel that God is far? Yeah, I've experienced that season. Have you ever knocked the gate of heaven if there's anything like that? Have you ever knocked the gate of heaven of the window of heaven and you feel as though the more that you knock, the more that you knock, the more they added soundproof to heaven? You understand? And it's as though nothing is happening, nothing is showing forth. It's as though God is not speaking. You and I must have gone through that season of our life. And that season of our life, when God is silent, what do you do? And the words from my mouth... And from the words of my groaning. Now, quickly jump to verse 11 and verse 19. He now says, because this is, a, this, is, this is God or this is the prophetic word, Jesus pouring himself out. He said, be not far from me, for trouble is near. For there is none to help. Every time I read this, I remember Jesus. You know, when they, crucified, when, they, when they picked Jesus, all the disciples decided to stay with him. Was that what happened? Everybody that was praising him. Ah, you are the greatest, the great of the greatest, the big of the... Everybody deserted him and he said this. He said, be not far from me for trouble is near. He said, for there is none to help. Many bulls have surrounded me. Strong bulls of Bashan have encycled me. People are speaking words against me. Who is your God? They gave at me with their mouths like a raging, roaring lion. I am poured out like water and my bones are out of joint. This is the pain of Jesus. My heart is like wax. It has melted within me. My strength has dried up. Have you ever been in a state where you are a strong person? You know you are strong. You know, a couple of days ago, someone visited me and we were having this counseling session and everything. Big boy! Big boy. I mean, uh, you know, when I say big boy, it's big boy. But the, the, as, as big as he was, he was whooping. Crying! Why has life been unfair? And that was exactly what happened to Jesus. He said, my heart melts within me. 
I know you come to church, you do your Medicare and all those things. Amen. But sometimes, let's be truthful, when you get home, you just find a place and you just cry. And it's good to cry. Because scripture says, even Jesus wept. Amen. You know, I always play with people. I say, why can't they slap you? They slap Jesus now. So this, praise God. My strength is dried up like a pot shed. My tongue cling to my jaw. You have brought me to the dust of death. Therefore, dogs have surrounded me. The congregation of the wicked has encycled me. They pierced my hands and my feet. Can you see the prophecy there? I count all my bones. They look and stare at me. They divided my garments among them. And my clothing they cast lot. Verse 19. Very powerful. He said, but you, O Lord, do not be far from me. O my strength, hasten to help me, my God. That if you do not step in at this point in time, every investment you have made in me so far will go down the drain. Hasten to help me. And I started last week by saying that your help is your outcry unto God. A show of your vulnerability. Is someone hearing me here? Help is an extension of mercy. When God wants to have mercy upon you, what he does is he sends help to you. <laughs> Is someone hearing me here? So if God wants to have mercy on a man, one of the strategies that he uses is the fact that he sends help. And I'm going to explain further, like I did last week, what how to unlock this help. But let me conclude with this. Help is God's way of redeeming time. Chronologically, time cannot be redeemed, but the content of the time can be redeemed. Did you get what I'm saying here? The content of that time can be redeemed. I mean, you might not be able to go back to 25 years old. You might not be able to go back to 15 years old. But the content that ought to happen in your life right now can be deposited to you by the help of God. Is someone hearing me here? Redeem my time via the help of God. God uses his help to redeem time. If you have gone off track, I come today to announce to you, by the mercy and by the help of God, you are coming back to track. Yeah. Psalm chapter 46 verse 1. Your very present help in the time of need. Help is God's way of redeeming your time. Some people said, I got married late. But you can feel that you got married late. But God can redeem the content of that time. It's the same God that we serve. That people have been barren for years. But by the time they come, they have triplets. Because God might, it might not be, in the chronological order might be stagnant. But the content can be given back to you. I decree in the name of Jesus, every opportunity and time that you have wasted, let it be restored now. <laughs> when you cry out for help, you are crying out, Lord, redeem my time. Help is God's system of making men. Second Chronicles chapter 26. I want to show something, then we fly. Thank you, Jesus. Second Chronicles chapter 26 from verse 15. Powerful. Look at what the scripture says. He said, and he made the voices in Jerusalem inverted by skillful men. 26 verse 15. Second Chronicles 26 verse 15. And he made the voices in Jerusalem invented by skillful men to be on the tower and on the corner to shoot arrows. Now, this scripture is the first scripture that shows us Structural and architectural engineering. I mean, this is the Bible. He said, invented by skillful men to be on the tower, he said, to shoot arrows, devices to shoot arrows. And 
and large stones. If you have never watched all those epic films before, you will understand what I'm saying. Like Thor. Mm -hmm. All those that ah, Vikings. My sister, be very careful. Scripture now says something. It says, so his fame spread far and wide. I love the end part. For he was marvelously helped. He didn't stop there. Kaporo Koshkata. Men came to him. Men of skills. Because you can have men, but they can be useless. I said it last week. You can have men around you, but they are not meaningful to advancement. How many people have uncles, but they are of no use? Because a man that is not sent of God to you is useless to your destiny. <laughs> My God. But the help of God to a man is another man sent to him. When God wants to help you, he sends you men. <laughs> it's a skillful man that says, sit down. We will, you just tell us, we will do. Tell us what you want your future to be. We will bring it out to you. God send me men. He said, for he was not only helped, he was marvelously helped. And there is a timeline. There is a measure to it. Till he became, my God, man that will not leave you till you become. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Starting from today. Receive men and women that will not leave you until you become great. Yeah. <laughs> the help of God to a man is another man sent to him. The help of God to Benga is another man sent to him. Say it with your name. The help of God to me is another man sent to me. The way you are the help of God to another man, another man is the help of God to you. I mean, today, other thousand is not your problem. Some dollars are not your problem. But it is the help that someone needs. But the one million dollars that you need is in the hand of someone that is not a problem to the person. I have discovered that. That if God does not put your favor in the heart of a man, no matter how much they walk around you, they will miss you. <laughs> Until it became great. Abaroko Shatahaya. Thank you, Jesus. And last week I started with the mysteries. I said the first one is the mystery of brokenness. The second one today, I think you probably haven't heard this. Is the mystery of foes and users. Psalm chapter 3. After today, you will glory in the people that use you. Alema so saiko fele ma pai no sana. Elevristo kopele ma sanes. Psalm chapter 3, from verse 1. Look at what it says. He said, Lord, how they have increased who troubled me. Ooh, my God. Many are there who rise up against me. Many are there who say, there is no help in God. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. My glory and the lift out of my head. He said, I cried to the Lord with my voice and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and I slept. I woke up and the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of the 10,000 people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O oh Lord, save me, my God. For you have struck all my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessings is upon your people. The mysteries of your users. Many people 
who cause their users, but your user is an indication that there is something on you. <laughs> if you have ever been pressurized at work, it is because there is a grace to produce more. Nobody expects anything from a man now walking on the street. You don't expect any productivity. There is how. Listen, one day I was reading the scripture. Our Bible says that the, accus- the, the inscription on the head of Jesus on the cross. What was the inscription? The king of the Jews. His accusation was his inscription. And that inscription was his destiny. What they are pressurizing you for is your destiny. The reason why they crucified him was because they said the king of the Jews. The reason why they will crucify you is because there is a glory on your head. So sometimes when you see your foes, you should be happy. The more the foes, the more the glory. That's what scripture says. Rule down in the midst of the enemies. Sometimes we don't pray for them to die. We only pray, we only pray to, for them to be revealed. So that when we know what they are attacking, then we know what is in, inside of you. A man of God once said to me, bless me. He said, one of the best ways to know what God is doing is to see what the devil is interested in. Did you come say that? Because the devil never invests in what God is not investing in. The devil sees what God is doing. Then he wants to what? He wants to pollute it. One of the ways to know that there is a grace over your life is the attack over your life. So it's upon this revelation that you cry out for help. As many as they are, so you will cry out unto, unto the Lord. If you have one enemy, it means you are not going far. You must have multiple. The mysteries of foes. <laughs> That's why I said, my enemy do not rejoice over me. For I that fall, I shall rise again. Be glad that you are under attack. It's on here again. Acts chapter 4 verse 29. He said, Lord, he said, look unto the threatenings of your people. And grant through your son. That miracles and signs and wonders might be done through the hands of your son. Look unto thy threat, the threat is of the people. Some of you like gentle life. No, I'm a fighter. So you should love to fight because the indication, your force are indication that there's something on your head. No fruitless tree gets the attention of a stone. It is when you are on top that you become a topic. The mysteries of foes. <laughs> My God. Sometimes your foes and your accusers is a system of asking God's help to step in. <laughs> John chapter 8. Scripture says that they caught a woman at the very act of adultery. Amen. Very act was not the fact that she was coming out of the room. Very hard. Say, my sister, you have done enough. Now, put on your everything. Let's go. And as the accusers were pointing hands, help came forth. Because when your accusers show before God, the help of God comes alive. When your accusers show before God, the help of what you need to do is to be in alignment. The only way your accusers can go scot free. It's when you are not in alignment with the Lord. So far you are in alignment with the Lord. Your accusers are calling for the attention of God's help. That's what scripture says. Had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord. If your accusers know that their, their pressure is calling for the attention of God, they will stop it. Akora Shatabahaya. My God. Malachi chapter 7, verse 7 to 8. The mysteries of accusers. If I had more time, we'll go further. But let's just leave it at this. Malachi or Makai or Mikai. 
Now I understand why a pastor, was it during the week? He said, that thing I know to, to do, I do not know it's how, that, he said, give me King James. Because these things can just remove your teeth, whichever way. Micaiah chapter 7, my God. He said, therefore, I will look to the Lord and he, I will wait for the God of my salvation. Another version of the Bible says, I will wait for the God of my help. My God will hear me. Verse 8 now says, do not rejoice over me, my enemy. <laughs> When I fall, I will rise. Number three, the mystery of God sent men. And like I said, you can be in the midst of people and yet you can be lacking. Because if they are not sent to you, they are useless to you. That's why many people have friends, billionaires as friends. But yet their life is not showing for. Every man that God helped is sent a man to them. My God. First Kings chapter 17, verse 10. He said, I go towards Zarephath. He said, I have prepared a widow to sustain you. <laughs> I have prepared a widow. Now, a widow is someone that does not have husband. Is someone here? A widow is someone who probably is lacking food. But God said, the way I will supply you, I will use a widow. Now, which means that even if the widow does not have money for others, she will have money for you. Because she's under instruction to make sure that you are sustained. That's why I said, it caught a ravenous board from the east. A ravenous board is a board that does not feed his own children. So when there is food, you say, Lord, watch it. Do you see what I'm saying here? Do you know that it takes a terrorist to look at a nation and eat a nation? The same terrorist and look at his children and feed the children. One man, two expressions. It's not that people are not nice. It's only that your help is not with them. Everybody is nice when they are sent to you. A man can give his last card when he is sent to you. Go to Zarapa. Lord, men that you have instructed to lift me. Even you as a person, you have been instructed to lift many. <laughs> My God. Men. Acts chapter 10. The Lord said unto Cornelius, He said, Go to Joppa. Simon is there. He said, I have what? commanded him to bring you words. This, when it comes to salvation, I have sent men to you. Now listen to me. Whatever you need. Now this is what I'm saying. Whatever you need, whether it's spiritual, whether it's physical, material, is in the hand of a man. Bishop said one day, he said, every grace, every great grace of God is packaged in human vessel. There is no grace that you desire in this life that a man does not have possession of it. Every great grace of God. Your greatness is packaged in human vessels. If you don't like men, then you don't like help. And listen to me, the help that you render to this one might not come from this one. It might come from another. For blessed are the merciful for they shall what? Obtain mercy. So which means when you are helpful to others, your help comes from another way. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. And how does the Lord send help? He sends to me. So if you are not rendering help, you cannot get help. Years ago, you provide then you get. You will catch it when you get home. You provide help in 30 days, you get help. Now you get it. Let me quickly
quickly take you to a scripture that changed my life. And I always pray for these four things. Mark chapter 2. It changed my life. Shevre nama sailo moskavela style. Mark chapter 2 from verse 2. Powerful scripture. And immediately many gathered, so there was no longer room to receive them. Not even near the door, my God, Jesus himself. Where Baba is speaking everywhere is jam-packed. Like it will be in the next couple of days. We are just a few weeks old. We have not even started sitting. No, no, we just, we just came out of the womb. My God. Uh, unto a disciple nations and kings, we won't stop. No, we won't stop. We won't stop. Immediately, he said, and there was not even near the door, and he preached the word to them. Then they came to him, bringing a paralytic who was carried by what? Oh, man. I preached to someone a while back. I said, the mysteries of walking on four legs. Now, this is where I'm going. Verse 4. He said, and they could not come near because of the crowd. They uncovered the roof where he was. My God. Now, take a pause there. Join me in Luke chapter 5. The same story. But I want to say something. You will still come back. Now, quickly travel to Luke chapter 5. We studied the scripture here, so follow us. From verse 18. The same story. And behold, men, this one didn't say four, so it was Mark that showed us that they were four. Brought on a bed, a man who was paralyzed, whom they sought to bring in and lay before him. Oh my God. And when they could not find out they might bring him in because of the crowd, scripture says they went to the house top. Did you get what I'm saying? Men decided to take it upon themselves. They couldn't bless him because of the crowd. Scripture says that. Now, I want you to quickly put in your Nollywood glasses. And quickly imagine what happened. Let me not even say it's a bungalow. So someone quickly ran to rent a ladder. Uh, that, that's, that's too far. Of his own money. Did you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And they began to clap. Now, they removed the roof, which means they knew that we're going to replace it. Did you get what I'm saying there? Because you can't remove the roof of the master and say, no, we are, we are done. No, you can't be done. You have to replace the roof. So, they incurred that so as to make sure that a man receives his healing. The mysteries of all men. The mysteries of all men. That a man that has no leg can be walking on four legs. Yes, Yesterday, we saw him with no leg. But today, he was walking on four legs. Man decided to carry him. I pray for someone here in the name of Jesus. Any area of life that you have been experiencing paralysis. Any area of life that you have been stuck. Receive the ministry of four men. Receive the ministry of four men now. In the name of Jesus. This is not me psyching you. This is real. I always pray for this four men. Lord, give me four men that has it in their mind. That until I get to my destination, they will not go back. Four. Until I get to my destination, they will not give up. Until they see that every month there is a ministration for you. They will be the one telling them that have you heard my be thinking? Because they know that this man must get to where he is. They will be the one telling them in the office, have you ever heard her present do a presentation? Because they know that they are sent of God. I stand in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let it be from today, December 17th, that you will lack no man. That you will lack no man. Everywhere you appear, everywhere you turn to, there will be men positioned for you. Sit down. I want to show you a scripture. 
Second Samuel chapter 9. I hope so. Let's go. The Lord said I should show you. Woo! Verse 1. These things are true. I'm telling you, these things are true. That you will never be stranded again. Never be stranded. Four men took it. They, they emptied the roof and they let him down. Now, scripture now says, Mark chapter 2 there, and Luke chapter 5. Scripture now says, and when Jesus saw their faith. The Holy Spirit told me, pause. Jesus didn't see his faith. Jesus saw their faith. Did you come say there? Jesus didn't see his faith because the man had given up that this year nothing can happen again. The man had given up that this leg nothing can happen. So when God was communicating healing, it was not because of the man. It was because of these four friends that said, no, before this year ends, you must walk home. And Jesus saw their faith. I stand in the name of the Lord Jesus. Men that are sent to you, custom made for your lifting, receive them starting from now. I said, receive them starting from now. In the name of Jesus. You will never lack any help again. When you show up in an interview, someone will be there to speak for you. When you show up for a presentation, someone will be there to speak for you. That's it. I want to show you something. I call Barenda Bahash. First Samuel chapter, second Samuel chapter 9. Now David said, is there anyone left of the house of Saul? That I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake. This is a powerful scripture on his own. But I'm going somewhere. Follow me. And there was a servant of the house of Saul. Whose name was Ziba. That's my Samuel. I went further to look at because I, I when Oparosi Namahaya, my God, my God, when the man died, one of the things that happened in those days is when the king leaves, the people that have served for so long a time, servants, before they become born servants, they can decide to leave. Did you come say there? So the king had died, but there was one man that refused to leave. He now said, There was a servant of the house of Saul whose name was Ziba. So I went for that to look for the meaning Ziba. Ziba means stationed. That's what Ziba means. Stationed. The man could have left, but he was stationed for such a time as this. Did you come say there? When it was time to favor Mephibosheth, someone needed to be stationed so that he can speak for him. This is what I bring you in grace this morning. Anywhere that you show up in destiny, anywhere that decisions will be made on your behalf, I stand as one sent by God. I say, let there be release of stationed men. I said, let there be release of stationed men. In the name of Jesus. Ziba showed up. I am stationed so that the day you call for him, I will come. So that the day you call for him, the day they call for your name, men that will raise their hand and say, I know him. If I am called of the Lord, I stand upon the integrity of the call. I declare from today, you will not lack stationed men. You will not lack stationed helpers. In the name of Jesus. My God. This is the kind of prayer that you pray when you are going to an interview. Stationed men. One will quickly excuse himself to go to the toilet. Another one will replace him. A friend of mine shared a testimony. One day. He was going for an interview. When he got to the interview, the person that has been sent... Firing everybody. We don't want it. We don't. When he came in, he had he had stomach upset. He said, "Excuse me." Because they already told him that there, there's a particular man there. Whatever you say, the man just said you are not fit for the job. So he was going, but speaking in tongues. Stationed man. I immediately got there. He said, "Excuse me. Continue interview. I need to get to the toilet." 
The man left for the toilet. Before he came back, they had concluded. They've given him the job. By the time he came back, he had already left. They've signed off on his contract. They have gotten the job. Why? Because the Lord put stationed men there. Another man replaced the man that would say no. The Lord bring a station man. I stand in the name of Jesus. It remains 14 days for this year to end. Let it be a proof that he came. Let it be a proof that I'm called. That in the name of the Lord Jesus, men that we speak for your favor, men that we are your co tire, men that we announce you in due time, I decree in the name of Jesus, receive your station men now. Receive your station men now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is not the gospel of begging. This is the model operandi of God. That when he wants to raise a man, he sent another man. Stop looking up to men that are not sent of God. Men that are sent of God, they don't have issues. Anybody giving you issues is not sent. See it, see it, see it. All this come today, come tomorrow. Come today, come tomorrow. They are not sent. Men that are sent don't give you issues. They will be the first person to tell you this is what God said I should do. Any man giving you issues is not sent. Stop this, stop it yourself. Up and down, up and down. Come on Monday, come on Tuesday, come on Thursday. No, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> Men whose your resources are in their hand, when you show up, they know. They know that these resources, they, they know, they know, this is you. Oh. <laughs> the pastor of mine was sharing the testimony. They've been looking for hearts for their ministry for, for, for months. And somebody said, there, there's one hall, but it's been long. It's been long, the hall is some. Let's go and check it. He said, when he got before the man, the man said, he's the one, he's the one, he's the one. He said, what do you mean you are the one? He said, we built this place over 10 years ago. The Lord told him, he said, build it very big. If I mention the name of the ministry, you will know. He said, build this event center in Abuja. It's a big ministry in Abuja, so I'll give you a clue. He said, he said over 10 years, just build it. You know that building? Just build. He never made profit on it. People will use it here and there, here and there. But the Lord said, just build. The day he shot the man of God, he said, he's the one. He's the one. And they're using there now. Things that are stationed for you. <laughs> I don't care where you want to live on the surface of the earth. Even if it is one billion, your home is right there. The day you are ready, it shows up. You don't need to run a basket out. The help of God is another man sent. I decree for you that in the name of Jesus, everywhere you show up right now, you will see stationed men. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. A friend of mine was arrested one day and they were taking him to the police station and he had given up that he was going to be locked up. When he got there, he met a pastor that is DPO. It's very strange. What's your name? He said his name. He said, no, this matter is not this. He said, you can go home. Stationed men. Stationed men in police station. My God. You will get it when you get home. Woo! When you are going out on the interview, when you are going out, say, Lord, I receive stationed men. Let my zebra come. Everywhere they speak about me, let zebra rise up. They told zebra, he said, go and fetch him from Lodeba, from the place of no pasture. It's called a pastureless land. Go and fetch him. Men that, listen, before David was called out, the prophet said, nobody is sitting until he comes. They had to send someone to the bush to call. I don't care where you are in life. This week, they are sending someone to seek for you. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. I said, I don't care the state of life that you are. Whatsoever belongs to you. This week, they are sending men to seek you out. In the name of Jesus. Let me round up. Let me round I will skip one point and I will go to this point with another. The mystery of the prophetic. 2 Kings chapter 6 from verse 1 to 7. Ooh. Elephisumai novosai kabela vanantele sala. 
Thank you, Jesus. And the sons of the prophet said unto Elisha, See now, the place that we dwell is too small for us. My God. Please let us go to Jordan and let make a beam from there and let us make a place where we may dwell. So he answered, go. And he said unto them, please consent to go with your servant. And he answered, I will go. And he went with them. And when they came to Jordan, they cut tree down. And as one was cutting a tree down, the, irons, the iron axe head fell into the water. And he cried out, alas, master, for it was borrowed. <laughs> so the man of God said, where did it fall? And he showed him the place. And he cut off a stick. Another version of the Bible says he cut off a branch. Mm. And threw it in there. And he made their iron float. Verse 7 says, and he said, pick it up yourself. Someone is picking it up today. Someone's health is coming back to life. Someone's job is coming back to life. He said, and he caught a stick and threw it there. He said, and he made the iron float. Exodus chapter 15. Three scriptures we are going to quote, then I go. Exodus chapter 15. Thank you, Jesus. Remember that he took a stick. And the stick also, another version of the Bible says, he took a branch. Exodus chapter 15. Woo! I will never. Thank you, Jesus. I will never. Be the same. I've touched your grace. Alive as Exodus 15 22. And Moses brought for Israel from the Red Sea, and when they went out into this wilderness of shore, and they were there three days in the wilderness and found no water. But when they came to Mara, they couldn't drink the waters of Mara, for they were bitter. Therefore, he called it Mara. And the people complained unto Moses, saying, What shall we drink? I remember the way the man cried out and he cried out unto the Lord and the Lord showed him a tree and he cast it into the water. The same stick. The same stick. Version Bible says we call it stick. Another we call it tree. Another we call it branch. He said and he showed him a tree and he cast it into the waters and the water was made sweet. If I had more time, I would have shown you the significance of what we call tree. The tree, the stick there stands for the cross. And this is where I'm going today. And you are going to pray. When I said it last week, I said in 21 days, the amount of testimony I've received in this church in the last seven days, one of our brothers told me, he said from nowhere, four jobs came from nowhere. Four. He just showed up. <laughs> Even this week, as a pastor, there is the help of God that reached out to me this week. And I've had countless testimonies. This is what I've come to bless you with today in 14 days. Except if the Lord has not called us. In 14 days, whatsoever represents the help of God to you, it will show up massively. Amen. So when they got there and the accent fell, he said, and he took a branch and dropped it there. And when he got there and the water was bitter, I don't know what is bitter this year, but it's about to be made sweet. Yeah. I don't know the bitter experience that you have gone through, but I stand prophetically to tell you that it's about to be made sweet. Yeah. In Exodus chapter 17, when Moses got to the rod, he said, when you get there, he said, use your rod. Another version of the Bible said, use your stick. He said, strike the rod and the water will come. Because every time we want to activate the prophetic, we honor the ministry of the tree, of the cross. Before I pray today, if you are not born again, this is the time. Because I can only give you of the gift that the Father gives to the Son. Every eyes close, every head bow. Before we pray. I just want you to have that connection with God before we release it. If you are here today, online and off-site. Online and on-site and you are not born again, this is your time. You don't have a relationship with Jesus. This is your time. But you seek the help of God. You have sought for every help. Help showed from nowhere. Some people don't, you are not even sure whether you are born again or not. The truth is you are not born again. If you are not sure, you are not there. If you are not sure, you are not there. Or you were once born again, but you missed your way. 
You don't have a perfect, a clean way with the Father. You want to say, Pastor, pray for me. I want to rededicate my life. If you're such a person, can you just bow your head? Put your right hand on your chest and raise one hand. That's all. Put your right hand on your chest and raise one hand. Anywhere you are online and on site. If you are on site, there will be, if you are online, there will be details for you to contact. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now say after me. Lord Jesus, thank you for today. I receive your word into my life. I believe that you died for me and you rose up for my justification. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me with your blood. Write my name in the book of life. I rededicate my heart unto you and I confess that you are Lord over my life. I denounce the works of the world, the works of the flesh in the name of the Lord Jesus. From today I'm born again. Jesus match, matchless name. Now let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your sons and your daughters, online and on site, even as they have made this confession today, restore unto them the joy of salvation. Receive them into the fold. Bless them with the blessings of the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' matchless name. Amen. Please, can everybody rise up today? There will be a card given to you. Kindly fill those cards with accurate information. We want to pray right now. I want to give you five, three minutes rather. But before I do that, I want you to look at that area that is called Mara. That experience that is bitter. Those months that are bitter. That experience or that situation of life that it seems as though the opportunities have been lost. The axe head fell into the floor, into the, into the sea. And it began to sink. And it's as though the situation is sinking the more. It's as though the help is sinking them all. But we want to pray in the name of Jesus. We want to pray about the mystery of the cross. As we apply the cross today, every form of help that has gone down the drain will begin to float. Every bitter experience that has gone down the drain will begin to be made sweet. So I need you to picture it right now. That is why you are here. This is the moment that you wait. This is the moment. Don't worry, just leave the rest to me. I'm going to make a declaration. But all I need you to do is to pray fervently unto the Lord. And say, Father, let your hand of help reach out to me in this area. Let your hand of help, Lord, help me in whatsoever way you want to cry out unto the Lord. Help my child, help my children, help my life, help my health, help my body, help my job. Cry out unto the Lord. Now, this is what you say. Father, in the name of Jesus. Say alongside with me. This is in the life. Father, in the name of Jesus. As I pray. Help me to pray. And send your hand of help. Into my life. In the name of Jesus. Now, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Oh, Pray, 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 pray. I can't hear you. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I will never. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's the song. Come on, let us sing. Pray, 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 pray. Sada balabaha, ayada da ba 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 ba. Shada da 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 ba ya. Shada da 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 ba ya. Shada da ba 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 ba. Raba ba 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 kush. Shada balake. Shala brata balabata. Sheba la baraka tosia. This is a praying church. Shada da 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 da. Sheba la bara ba ba ba. Shada da 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 ba ya. Shada balaba ba ba. Shada da 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 ba ba. Shala bara ba kata. Shabara ba 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 ba, shabara ba 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 ba, shada da da da. Oh, Adulam, Ayau, Ayau, Oh, Adulam, Ayau, Ayau, Ayau. 
Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. I don't know. Oh my God. Now, anyone sick in your body, put your hands there. The help of God comes. We'll take it one by one. Put your body there. Put your hands there. And if you are standing for someone, just raise your hand. Sikla perente levescopali. Memina saikele. Maboroske pala gashkata. Mena masuza barata baliate. Ikale. Mombresko pala gashkata. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command every dwindling else. Every dwindling else. Every dwindling else. Every dwindling else. Come back to life now. Any organ that is failing. Online and offside, Shatela Maka Ikarabatai. Any organ that is not performing up to function, yet the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus, I command you come back to life now. Ayada Babadosh, Seke de Brakata, every infirmity in their bodies, online and outside, every infirmity in their bodies, in the name of the Lord Jesus, every infirmity in their bodies. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command us infirmity. I say, leave their bodies now. Leave their bodies now. In the name of Jesus. Anyone in business and entrepreneur, lift your hands. Maboro Sile Mabale. The prophetic never fails. I stand here to speak the utterance of the Father. As you have lifted those ends, those ends will never make losses again. Oh, my Yadaba Lekela Badawate, Mambroto Sile Kalabahata. As you lift those ends unto the Lord, I stretch out my hands to you. I decree in the name of Jesus, receive perpetual help. Receive perpetual help. No losses in your hand anymore. No losses in your life anymore. In the name of Jesus. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. This is the blessings I bring you today. That within the next 14 days, let there be connections that cancels all debts. Let there be partnership that cancels all debts. Let there be liftings that cancels all debts. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare your debts paid. We declare your losses are over. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone on the job, lift up your hands. This is a prophetic blessing we bring you. The anointing of Joseph. The anointing of Joseph. May the God of Jeshurun that we serve and we are Let the God, the anointing of Joseph, that makes him ten times better than others. The anointing of day, Daniel, that makes him ten better than others. I speak in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let this oil rest upon you now. Let this oil rest upon you now. Let this grace rest upon you now. Let your wisdom may not be can say. Your wisdom will not be downtrodden. In the name of Jesus. Anyone that has been experiencing a dwindling in business that is as though the axe head fell. Anyone in a situation that looks like Mara. I bring the cross to you this morning. I bring the cross to you. And they applied the stick and the iron axe floated. And they said, pick it up. And they experienced a bitter water. 
and they put in the stick and they begin to drink sweet water. I decree in the name of the Lord Jesus as you leave me from here today. Let every bitter experience let it turn to sweetness now. Every bitter experience of sweetness now. Everywhere you have been taken for granted. Everywhere you have been that you have been taken advantage of. I stand in the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive double honor for your shame. Receive double honor for your shame. Anyone that has gone through losses, I stand in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let every losses turn to profit now. This is the last thing I want you to do. I need you to make declaration with your mouth. I have entered into the season of profit into the season of restoration whatever applies to you stand upon this prophetic mandate take a step forward i have entered into it take a step forward i give you two minutes 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 take a step into your ministry take a step into it anyone in ministry take a step into fulfillment i give you one more minute pray make declaration make declaration make declaration make declaration Make declaration. Shaba ba 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 ba. Hey, haya. Shada da ba. Oh, ha do la. Haya o. Oh, ha do la. Make declaration. Make declaration. Haya o. Make declaration. Haya o. Oh, ha do la. Ha do la. Haya. be called of God like the prophet Elijah said if I be a man of God I stand upon the integrity of the call and that the Lord sent us within the next 14 days before you scream happy new year if I be called of God write it down if I be called of God within the next 14 days let there be miracles let there be signs let there be wonders let there be miracles let there be signs let there be wonders let there be miracles let there be signs let there be wonders let there be miracles let there be signs let there be wonders let there be miracles let there be signs let there be wonders let there be miracles let there be signs let there be wonders in the name of jesus it is done lord you sent us and interrupted our schedule you said all oh, two sundays of the prophetic lord this is the last day i have done as you have sent me let this ones now see that you sent me Jesus said, I know that you hear me always, but they might believe that you sent me. Lord, I know that you hear me and you sent me, but that they might believe, online and outside, that they might believe that you sent me. Within the next 14 days, let there be signs and wonders. Let there be miracles of this gathering. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' matchless name we are praying. Put those hands together for Jesus' his word. His word. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Give him thanks as you have your seat. Give him thanks. We give you praise. We give you praise. No carry over. Everything is delivered. No carry over. Everything is delivered this year. Woo! Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Wow. I'm going to receive your testimony this week. Yes, I am sure. I'm receiving your testimony this week. Every list that your name needs to be in to announce you, until your name is included, the list will not be concluded. 
every list of favor that your name needs to be included. Until your name is included, the list will not be completed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we finalize your papers. Yes, we finalize. I hear it in the spirit. We finalize your papers. We finalize it. Every decision that is being made on your behalf, we finalize it this week. Every decision that has been made on your behalf or has not gotten to your table, has not gotten to your email, has not gotten to your text, in the name of Jesus, this week is that week. I decree, let every form of, pers- every form of email, text message, calls, whatever it is, let it be finalized now. Receive it this week. Receive the testimonies this week. By this prophetic utterance, come back to share prophetic testimonies. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' matchless name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please, let's give our offerings and our tithe. Thank you, precious Father. Mm. There's a lot happening. Thank you, Lord. The Lord said unto me earlier this year, so whatever we find fulfillment and more outpouring of grace in the coming years must find its roots or must find a manifestation this year. So this is what I'm saying. If you are starting a business next year or you plan to start a business next year, you plan to start something new next year, please make sure that it has some expression this year. Before the 31st, make sure that it has and the Lord just reminded me to say that. So if you have been slacking, please make sure you find expression. All right, we have four channels in which we give. You can use the envelopes given to you by the ushers. The giving details are also on it. The giving details are also on the screen. Or you can use the pure stand at the back. Or write a check payable to Eden Life Experience Center. Thank you, Lord. If you Paying your tithes, can you just stand with me as our customers? A few other things will change from next year for this particular announcement of tithes and offering, but for now, just stand with me. If you're giving your offerings, you can just raise it. Can you just speak into your tithes and your offerings? If you're giving your offerings, just raise it, even if you are giving your tithes online. So please just rise along with me, even if you are giving it through any electronic means. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for out of the abundance of which you have blessed us with. We bring our tithes and our offerings into your house. We ask that you receive it, Holy Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask that strength arises unto us from Zion, and we are the receiver to the obedience of these words. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' matchless name, we are prayed. In Jesus' matchless name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen.